This video explains how to get or set a working directory using the getwd and setwd functions in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and in the first step of this tutorial, I want to show you how to get the current working directory using the getwd function. And we can do that as you can see in line two of the code. So within the getwd function, you don't need to specify any additional parameters. You simply can apply this function as you can see in line two to print the current working directory to the RStudio console. So if you run line two of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our current working directory is returned. And as you can see, we are currently working on the desktop of my computer. So let's assume that we want to change this working directory in this current R session. Then we can apply the setwd function as you can see in line four of the code. And within the setwd function, you need to specify a character string, which is containing the path to your working directory in which you want to work in this current R session. So in this case, I have created a folder on the desktop of my computer, which is called my folder. And for that reason, I'm specifying the path to this folder within the setwd function. So if you run line four of the code, our working directory is changed. And we can see that by running line six of the code. So in line six of the code, I'm applying the getwd function once again to check what the current working directory is. And if you run this line of code, you can see that the current working directory has been changed to the path to my folder on my desktop. So let's assume that we want to write some data to this folder. Then we can apply the write CSV to function as you can see in line eight of the code. And within this function, we need to specify some data. So in this case, we are simply writing the values one to five. And then since we have already set the working directory in the previous step, we can simply specify the name of the file that we want to create. So in this case, we want to call our file some data one. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see that in the folder on the desktop of my computer, a new file has been created. And this file is called some data one. So in this example, I have explained how to set the working directory in an R session and how to write a CSV file to this working directory. However, alternatively to the setwd function, I want to show you a different approach, which is to save the path to a folder manually. And we can do that as you can see in line 10 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying exactly the same path as I have used before within the setwd function. However, this time I'm storing this path in a new data object, which I call my path. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called my path. And now in the next step, we can use this data object within the write.csv2 function in combination with the paste zero function to specify our path while writing our data to our folder. So if you run lines 12 to 13, another file is created in our folder, which is called some data two. However, this time we did not have to use the setwd function because we have specified our path within a new data object. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.